Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to turn to the east and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. We want to give double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the hopeful elect, the 144,000, who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And of course, can't forget about the one third of Israel who believes in the word and follow the lamb wherever he goes. All right, Shalom. Hey, listen. Yeah, I got this inspiration. Uh, and it's going to be entitled By the Sign of Jonas. Yes, that's right. The Sign of Jonas, because that's the only sign the Lord say uh, that the people, the children of Israel, are going to have. He said these people, they're looking for a sign. They're looking for a sign. But the only sign they're going to get is the sign of Jonas. All right, so we're going to get to the scriptures. I, but first, I want to uh, just point out to uh, anybody who's out there who's not out here pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Do you know? Do you actually know? You, do you understand what's going on here? Do you think that one day we all woke up and just got up and said, you know what? I don't want to be no Baptist no more. I don't want to be a Lutheran no more. I don't want to believe in so-called Jesus Christ no more. And I'm going to go out on the corner and yell at the top of my voice. And I'm going to bring a, a new song, a new doctrine from what we was taught so, since we were growing up. Do you actually believe that? Because I hope not, because if you do, that means that you're some kind of fool. We didn't just wake up one day and uh, decide to, to go out on the, on the corner and uh, start uh, teaching the Bible in a totally uh, adverse way as this world, as everybody on the planet Earth would see the Bible and believe the Bible to be and the stories in the Bible to be. No, we didn't do that. And hopefully this epistle will make you see that. So but by not by me using my words, but by using the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Hey. Yeah, man, because this is the sign of Jonas. You're gonna hear me say that over and over throughout this epistle. Because I want to hit this home. I want this to hit home. This is the sign of Jonas. This is it, man. This is this is like uh prophecy being fulfilled right before your very eyes right before our very eyes because we're part of this prophecy as well you know what I'm saying we were actually called by the creator of the universe I remember just right there I was standing right there and I uh, when I first I think it was my first time my first time when I was on the highways and hedges I believe the first or second time I was very very new to it and I saw a, a guy that used to be my my uh, I guess you would call him my boss yeah because we have sometimes we have many bosses but anyway, this dude, you know, he was somewhat of my boss, you know. Um, he was one of the owners that I worked for. And when I saw him, I was not ashamed and I was not confounded. But I went up to him and I said, he said, Tommy, what's going on? I said, man, you would never believe what just what happened to me. I said, the creator of the universe called me. You know what I'm saying? I said, he called me. And I'm, I'm, I said, I'm out here preaching the gospel. I'm out here preaching the 100% the, the truth of the Bible, man. And I was so happy. I wasn't, I wasn't afraid. I wasn't ashamed. I didn't, I didn't care what he thought. Okay? So, hey, we're just going to get right into it, man. We're just going to get right into it. But first, I also want to say that it, it takes a level of faith. It takes a lot, man, uh, actually, to come out here and proclaim this word. But... Anybody would know if you had, you know, this is not by us, man. This is not by us. We don't do this for our own fame and glory. We don't do this uh, for any kind of recognition out here. We're building up our riches in heaven. We do it because we're afraid of the Lord, man. And we've been called to do this. We have no other choice. We have no other choice. So we're going to go ahead and get into this thing. And, uh, okay. So, where we at? First thing we're gonna get, we're gonna go to uh, what we got. I'm gonna go over here somewhere in a little corner over here because I'm not I'm not at camp, but I'm also not I'm not gonna be stationary for this one because uh, just like the water, 
Just like the spirit, it's, it's, it's alive and it's always growing. Okay? Okay, we, here we go. This, 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 we're going to go to the book of 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter 1. And it says... Uh, This book of 1 Peter chapter 1. And it says, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shimei Shai, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Gal Galatia, uh, Cappadocia, Asia, and Berthina. Now the, um, the strangers are talking about the Israelite foreigners, okay? Just to, just, to, just to make that clear. He said, elect according to the foreknowledge of Yahweh Shimei Shai, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Okay? It says, Blessed be Yahweh Hashem Yahushai of our Lord Yahweh Shai, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai from the dead. Okay? Because we were filthy rags and the Lord uh, sent Yahweh Shai down to, to uh, die for our sins because we if, if it weren't be for him we, we, would, we would not make, we would not make it man okay the Lord would not he would not be pleased with us but because of that he's able to uh, Yahweh Shah is able to make intersection for us okay it said and all of this is prophecy being fulfilled right it says to an inheritance incorruptible okay because we are ordained you know, from because the, the Lord uh, declared all this from the beginning. So we are ordained to receive incorruptible bodies and live forever and ever, reign forever and ever on this on this earth in the new heaven. Okay, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserveth in heaven for you. See, who are kept by the power of Yahweh Shai through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. So therefore, this is the last time. That's why all this is happening. That's why we see what? The sign of Jonas, okay? And why is this sign of Jonas happening? Because of the faith and the calling. And that's why we keep doing it, and that's why we cannot stop. Let's read that again. So this is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 5. It says, Who are kept by the power of Yahweh Shem and Shai through faith until salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, okay? So these prophecies are going to continue to get bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger. And then, um, you know, the, the uh, one of the final, well, one of the things that you're going to know that who we are is that the Lord's going to set up a standard and give some of us spiritual powers, you know. And that's going to be something else. It says, wherein ye greatly rejoice through now, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. That's right. We go up and down, man, in the spirit sometimes. It's, it's sometimes it's grueling and it's hard on us. Uh, it's vexation being around here, man. Um, it just, it just, it just is, man. It's not easy, but we we have to make it through, and that's why uh, these words are sometimes comforting, you know, comforting to us. You know, to hear an epistle from another brother. Let me see. I'm gonna go down to this beach real quick. I hope y'all can see. Let me see. Okay, so, yeah, that's why these epistles are, are kind of nice for, for us, for the brotherhood and everything. I want to turn around like that. So, where, we, where were we? I think we were around verse 5. It says, Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. It says, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes through it, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay? Because that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on the return of Yahweh Shai, man. It says, Whom having not seen ye love, in whom though now ye see him not, ye yet believe. Ye rejoice with, with joy, unspeakable and full of glory. That's right. We glorify the name Yahweh Hashem Shai, and we're very happy, man, because we we actually uh, have faith and we receive this understanding and this knowledge 
okay and we can't let that go man because we when we heard about this this is like it's like a man been thirst just like it says that's what it's the water it's like a man dying of thirst and he's in the desert and somebody give him a cold glass of water man you know what i'm saying so us being out here in, in this babylonian system uh growing up uh with this oppression all around us and poverty you know and uh not having any answers to then one day having the answers one day being saying that hey you are the children of the most high dude come on man you know we're gonna glorify the Yahweh about shimmy al shai huh and you know what and our faith is gonna let's read that again that let's read it again that the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes though it be be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, whom having not seen ye love, in whom though now ye see him not yet believe, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. That's right, because we can feel Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. And that's why uh, you know we we give hope and we 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 really believe wholeheartedly that we, I mean, every day that goes by, we we we're hoping that we are those men because if we're not, the hundred and forty-four thousand, we we sure do feel like it, man. Okay, we feel like it, boy. It says, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Okay? And then it goes on to say, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. That's right. That's what we, we're waiting on, the grace, and we're prophesying. A prophets of old spoke about these times. Okay? And they're in the scriptures. The word... Of Yahweh Ba Shimei Al Shai speaks of us waking up, you know, coming out here on the highways and hedges, the sign of Jonas. Okay, search, search what, or what manner of time the spirit of Yahweh Ba Shimei Al Shai, which was in them, did signify, when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Yahweh Shai and the glory that should follow. Okay, these are prophecies being being fulfilled, and we can look back and see these prophecies that that have been fulfilled and we can uh, look at what is going to be fulfilled in the future and what's going on right now in the present time and that's uh, that's us uh, inquiring and search search diligently the, the scriptures that's and that's verse 10 of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto thee unto you now let's jump back down to verse 12 and to whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. And that's right. Some of our brothers, some of our forefathers, are so sharp with this, with this, with this, with this, with these, with these words, with this understanding. You know what I'm saying? The elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, man, they got it down pat. You know, and and we. Uh, the younger brothers are, are learning as we go as, as well, you know, through the Holy Spirit, of course. It says, this is, for, uh, this is the point right here, the scriptures that I'm reading here. This is verse 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. So we got to gird up the loins of our minds, man, and come out here and do the work that the Lord has ordained us to do. You know, do the work that we're called to do by coming out here on the highways and hedges and, and being a part of that prophecy, which is the sign of Jonas. Okay? Now, we're going to get that. We're going to go to the book of uh, Luke, St. Luke, chapter 11, verse 27. And it came to pass. As he spoke these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou had sucked. So the woman, when she knew it was Yahweh Shai, she jumped up and said, Hey, blessed is, is you know, where you, where you came out when you was born. Blessed the, blessed the woman that gave you and took nurtured you so you can grow up to be the Messiah. But he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of Yahweh by Hashem and Shai and keep it. That's right, because that's going to bring you everlasting salvation, man. So, hey, it's not to be hearers of the word, but doers also, okay? But he said, Yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai and keep it. 
And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil generation. They seek a sign, and there shall no sign be given, but the sign of Jonas the prophet. See, that's what we that's the point of the thing. So what is it? The sign of Jonas the prophet. Okay? And then uh Later on tonight, oh look at those people, they're out there on that on their paddle boards, man. They are in their heaven. Look at them. You see them? They are there in their heaven. Can y'all see them? You might not be able to see them. They're on paddle boards. It says, once again, this is a verse 29. So this is uh, the book of Luke, chapter 11, verse 29. This is an evil generation. That seek a sign, and there shall no sign be given but the sign of Jonas the prophet. For as Jonas was a sign unto the Nivites, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. And that also tells you, lets you know that reincarnation is there. And uh, so this generation is the same generation that was around in those days when Yahweh Shah walked the earth. Okay? It says, For as Jonas was a sign unto the Nivites, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation and, the, and, and condemn them. For she came from the utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and beheld. A, a greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh shall rise up in, in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonas and behold, a greater than Jonas is here. And once again... The Messiah is here because he is here with us. He is the word. Okay? And we're, what are we doing? The men of Nineveh shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. And that's what we're doing right here. We're condemning this, this world right here, man. We're telling y'all that Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, is about to be destroyed for all of this wickedness that is done and all the things that is done to the children of Israel. And all the two-thirds of the people are also going to go down with it. The ones that won't uh, let go of this place, Babylon the Great. They love it so, and they won't believe it. They don't believe that Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to come back and destroy this place, man. Okay, let's let's turn to the book of John. This is the book of John, chapter seven, verse thirty-eight. It says, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, man. And that's what's going on right now. Because he said, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said. And he's talking about, who is he talking about? He's talking about the hopeful elect, the 144,000. Okay? Because look, what, what is going on? If that was so, everybody in these lying churches would be up and uh, out on the highways and hedges prophesying if they understood the scriptures but they don't understand the scriptures man because they're worshiping a false god and a false idol so they're actually blinded to to what's going on man okay because don't forget wisdom runs away from uh, wickedness man and that's some wicked shit because they're worshiping false gods and false idols let's go to the book of Romans Chapter 8, verse 38. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 38. It says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is in Yahweh Shai, our Lord. So, hey man, we, we are stuck. We stuck here, man. After we done tasted this sweetness, this sweet knowledge here, after we've been called, you know what I'm saying? This is our reasonable service, man. And we're just really unprofitable service. We, you know, we, there's nothing else because we're alive, man. How you doing, brother? We're alive. We, we don't want to be dead. Okay? So we cannot. We cannot go back. Alright? That's why can't nothing separate us. That's And, and like the elders and apostles said, just like the elders and apostles said, we, uh, we, we, are, we are willing to die. We are willing to die for this truth because that's what it's ultimately going to come down to. And that's the faith that has to be had in order to preach this word. Because what? 
uh, if we preach Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, which is what? The condemnation of the world, man. It's, it's the condemnation of the world. It's not what they what they preach about in these lying churches talking about that God loves everybody. He's going to come back and save everybody. No, he's talking about he's coming back to destroy people, man. So we can't do that. So we got to be ready to go for, for whatever the scriptures say. He said, some of you going to die, man. And that's just the way it is. Okay? Okay, we're going to go to the book of First Chronicles. Now look, also, I want to bring out, man, the Lord has blessed me that there's never a dull moment in my life. You going to park there? Let me, let me get out of the way. You might want to back back in there, right? Yeah. That's the best way. Where are you? I'm out of the way. Okay, we're going to go to the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 16. Uh, verse 7. 1 Chronicles 16, verse 7. This is the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 7. Okay. It says, Then, on that day, David delivered first this psalm to thank Yahweh Shimei Al-Shai into the hand of Asaph and his brethren. Okay. It says, Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Okay. And that's what we do. That's what we do, man, when we come out here on these highways and hedges. We thank the Lord. I mean, I thank the Lord all the time, man. I thank the Lord all, man, like, all the time, man, because <laughs> you, just, you brothers know, man. You and, and also for the people, for the people that, that, that may just be tuning in, that maybe don't even, don't even understand what's really going on. So this is a great and powerful work that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh has made on us, man, because just like he took David and made him into something great, you know, a, a mighty man, he has taken us, the the the, the uh, downtrodden, the, the the some of the some of the some of us were wicked as, as hell, man, out here. You know what I'm saying? We we tasted that pure evil. We tasted that that unrighteousness, man, down to the yeah. See, the Lord, the Lord wanted us to sh to see this. This place for what it is and all the wickedness that it can entail. So we've been down there, man. And for and, and the, the mighty work that the Lord has brought us up out of there. Out of that total darkness, man. You know what I'm saying? Out from death, man. He's raised us from the dead. <sighs> okay? So let's read this again. That's why we give him thanks. It says, Then on that day David delivered first his psalms to thank Yahweh Hashem Yahashai into the hand of Asaph and his, and his brethren. Give thanks unto Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous of all his wonder wondrous works. That's what we do, man. We do that. We 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 read the scriptures. Sometimes we interject things, you know. You know, bring it out. We 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 thank the Lord and because it's just like our just like the other Israelites. All Israel is not Israel. But still, they have a zeal for the Most High, but not according to knowledge. But just imagine if they had a zeal for the Most High with the knowledge, like we have the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So we're giving it, we're giving it, man. We're glorifying you. How about Shimon Hashem? Okay. It says, glory ye in his name, in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek you. How about Shimon Hashem? It says, seek, seek, seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. And when seeking his face is getting into these scriptures, man. Just like uh, in the book of jo uh, Joshua, I think it's one, 1 verse 8. Meditate in the word day and night, okay? It says, remember his marvelous works that he had done his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is Yahweh Shema Oshai, our Lord. His judgments are in all the earth. That's right, because he... He sends out judgments daily, man. It says, Be ye mindful always of, of his covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac. 
and hath confirmed the same to Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. You know what I'm saying? We, and and look, look how the truth just coming all out of this thing, man. The truth just, just oozing out. And that's, what, that's, that's what's being declared here. The truth that's been so long without fruit is now bearing fruit, man. Now it's coming out. Because what? It's only for the children of Israel, man. The Lord's only dealing with the children of Israel. All throughout the Bible. It says, saying, this is verse 18, saying unto thee, will I give the land of Canaan a lot of your inheritance? That's right. When ye were but few, and even a few, and strangers in it. And when they went from nation to nation, and from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes. That's right. Why? Because they're his chosen people. Not everybody on the planet Earth, my man. But hey, we ain't we ain't talking about that now. We're talking about right now. We're talking about uh, the, the sign of Jonas, man. Getting out here on the highways and hell, and the hedges, preaching the word and glorifying the Lord and bringing out the hundred percent truth, man. And 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 warning the people to repent, man. That's what it's all about right now. It says, saying, "Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm, man." That's what Yahweh Shema is telling them. Sing unto the Lord, all the earth. Show forth from day to day his salvation. Declare his glory among the heathen. His marvelous works among all nations, man. And that's what we're doing. That's why this gospel is being preached on the four corners of the, of the earth, man. This gospel. Okay? Not, not that same old uh, religious stuff that you hear coming out of the, them uh, four houses, them Harley houses, man. Worshiping false gods and false idols. We're talking about the one true 100% doctrine. You know what I'm saying? Through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, given to the elders apostles of Great Millstone, man, and, and trickling on down to us, man. Anybody's repping the Great Millstone name, man, with the 100% truth, man. It says, For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He also is to be feared among, above all gods. And look, that's the precept for, uh, for Psalms chapter 96, verse 5. Okay, it says one time. For great is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and greatly to be praised, he also is to be feared above all gods, man. That's right, because he's the one true living God, man. The rest of them are just false gods and false idols. So remember, that goes. that's a precept for uh, Psalms chapter 96, verse 5. And I'm glad. I, when I saw that, I was, I was smiling, man, when the Lord uh, bestowed that upon me, man. Okay? Okay, and it says, for, for all the gods of the people are idols. Bless Tommy. Okay. Yes, I. It says, but the Lord made the heavens. See, and that's right there. That's a, that's a precept for uh, Psalm chapter 96, verse 5. It says, for all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens, man. And that, and that right there lets you know that the, this, hey, hey, Mr. Hill, that this book is some, this Bible, these, these words, this our history. It's, this is some serious business, man, because the Lord makes it makes it very clear that this word is not just put together by no man. This is some divine stuff that he inspired through men, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just the puzzles fit so perfectly together and and uh, and there's repetition throughout the scriptures to back up the back the scriptures back is back itself up. Okay? Let's keep going. Man, I, I'm I'm gonna have to hurry up, man. I like I was saying, it's never a dull moment, man. So I got off. I, I, I've been anticipating this all day, man. But I, I was beating myself trying to get, trying to get, hurry up, man, to get this done. So before, because I wanted to get it done before the sun came. Because I'm always doing things at night, man. So Salaki brothers. I, but hey, that's hey. It must be the will of Yahweh Shimei Shai because man's goings are of the Lord, man. Okay. It's, uh, so this is verse. Uh, so this is First Chronicles, chapter uh, sixteen, verse twenty-seven. Glory and honor are in His presence. Strength and gladness are in His place. Give unto Yahweh Shimei Shai, ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto His name. Bring an offering and come before Him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Right. Fear before Him all the earth. The world also shall be stable that it be not moved okay let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice and let men say among the nations the lord reigneth because that's what's about to happen man the lord's about to come he's gonna uh, take his throne and let people know that he is okay it says 
Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice and all that is therein. It says, Then shall the trees of the wood sing out at the presence of Yahweh Shai, because he cometh to judge the earth, man. Okay? It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is God, for his mercy endureth forever. And the Lord has bestowed mercy on us, the children of Israel. He Just like he said he's going to do, he said, I'm going to wake them up, man. Okay? And they will glorify my name. And say ye, save us, O God, of our salvation, and gather us together, and deliver us from the heathen. That's right, because we're holy. We're separate from the heathen. We're separate from all the other nations, man. That we may give thanks to the to thy holy name and, and glory in thy praise. It says, Blessed be Yahweh Shem Shai, God of Israel, forever and ever. And all the people said, Amen, and praise Yahweh Shem Shai. So once again, he wants to declare that, hey, I'm the God of Israel, man. Night. Okay, y'all, we're gonna, um, oh, look. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I said, hey, this is the sign of Jonas. I wanted to say, after, so after, after every scripture, after every scripture read, I wanted to say, this is the sign of Jonas, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully, uh, be editing this, and it, and, it, and it will, um, that's what that's the inspiration I get that it will come out so sweet and smooth to beat at home that this is the sign of Jonas okay so let's keep going y'all let's go to the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 15 yeah man I'm glad I'm glad the Lord woke me up man because I used to wonder I'm like I told y'all that before like wondering why like that lady just down just now now before I would have spoke to that lady and she probably wouldn't have spoke back to me but she walking around with a frown on her face and I'm like well why is everybody you know but they they're, they're in their heaven man but they hate they hate us man that's what we done figured out you know even though they in their heaven and everything they still hate us because they gotta we're not under their feet the way uh, they want us to be man not not like it was in the, in the old days when America was great <laughs> you know what I'm talking about <laughs> But anyway, let's go to the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye unto all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, right? He that believe is baptized, he that believe and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believe it not shall be damned. Now look, that's that scripture right there says a lot too, because it said, He that believe and is baptized because it's not so much that shows you right there y'all that it's not so much to know that you're Israel okay to believe in Yahweh about Shem Al Shai but you have to be baptized baptized with what with the hundred percent truth of the doctrine man you got to be able to understand what's going on man you got to be fully, fully persuaded okay it says but he that believe it not shall be damned let's go back to 16 and read again he that believe it and is baptized shall be saved right but he that believeth not shall be damned, right? And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues, man. They show, Yes, they show shield because they're not going to be the same people. They're going to be new people, man. They're gonna, they, the old man going to be dead, man. It says, well, that's, and that's, I'm a perfect example, man. Like I said before, I, don't, I, I can't believe that I'm... Uh, that I'm doing my very best to, to follow the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Because I used to, before this truth, I, would, I just, like most people, I'd just give up on them. Because what's it saying anyway? You will, you will rather believe the lie that, hey, the law's done away with, pretty much. Even though you know the law's in the back of your mind and you know you're not supposed to be stealing. You know you're, supposed to not, you're not supposed to be committing adultery. But in your mind, you make it okay because you got to go along with the lie because you don't believe that you can make it. Because nobody holds you to those standards, man. And that's the difference between... Believing and having faith. Hey, y'all. See? Because when you believe, you're going to put forth an effort to, to uh, do the work, man. And part of the doing the work is doing the law, statute, commandments to the best of your ability, man. And whatever whatever else the Lord has uh, called you to do. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go back to 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Shall they cast out devils? They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, 
And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of Yahweh. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. And that's what's, ha that's what's going on now. Because this is the sign of Jonas and what's happening around the world. Catastrophe. So the Lord is uh, bringing, bringing forth all those plagues that we're actually prophesying about, man. It's happening, man. The downfall of America, the crash of the dollar, the plagues that's been forth on the earth, death and destruction, man, is coming. The return of Yahweh Shimei Shai, the sealing of the uh, 144 elect, you know, being praised in glory of the name of Yahweh Shimei Shai, declaring the name Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shimei Shai. You know what I'm saying? Decla standing boldly in the face of such a, that o oppresses them. Okay? All those things are coming to pass. Okay, now we're going to keep going, y'all. We're going to go to the book of Ecclesiastics. We're going to stand right here and use this light real quick. We're just going to uh, go to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 13. I'm sorry, it's chapter 12, verse 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Night. I just want to use that light real quick. So, that's Ecclesiastes. It said that's the whole duty of man. The fear of Yahweh Hashem Shai and keep his commandments, my man. Okay? Keep his commandments. That's it. I'm going to go over here for just a second. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to uh, steal some light as much as I can. And then we're going to start making our way back. We're, uh, we're almost, I think we're almost there. We're going to go to the book of Luke. Chapter 9, verse 54. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, right? Yeah. And when his disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, wilt thou, wilt thou that we can command the fire to come down from heaven and consume them, even as Elias did? But he turned and rebuked them and said, Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to, an uh, to another village. That's right, because at that time, Yahweh Shimei Shai came to fulfill the prophecy. That's why he said, "It is uh, I come to fulfill." He came to fulfill the prophecy of him uh, dying for the children of Israel, man, and being that sacrifice for us, so we could have mercy and be the intersection to Yahweh for us, man. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, "Lord, I will follow thee wheresoever thou goest." And Yahweh Shai said unto him, "Foxes have holes." And birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have not where to lay his head. And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Yahweh shall say unto him, Let the dead bury the dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are in my home, in my house. And Yahweh shall say unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Shai. And you see, do you see us uh, turning around? No man, some of us brothers here, 
we we have nowhere else to go, man. Some of us brothers here, we we're afraid of Yahweh Bashi Al Shai, man. We're afraid of falling out the truth, man. Okay? So those other men, they they are must be written in the strip to set an example for us of how not to be. Okay? Those other brothers that take a break, take four or five years off, or, or do some some stupidness. We can't do that, man. We can't do that. We gotta stay in this thing because we see the signs. We have faith in the Lord, and we know He's coming back. And we don't want to be on that side of the ugly stick, man, when He comes back, okay? Let's keep on going, y'all. We're going to go to the book of Revelations, chapter 22. I'm going to read one more in this area because I like the light here. Revelation chapter 22, verse 10. And He said, and he said unto me, Seal not the sins of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Okay, because the time is at hand, man. Don't seal the, the prophecy of this book because the Lord unsealed them so we can understand these, these words in the last days. It says, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still, man. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning... And the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. And man, that's what we're doing. We're doing the commandment of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai because he commanded us to go out there, man. Go out there. It's just like the parable of the uh, of the of the husbandman, and they told uh, he went and told those those men, "What are you doing standing here idle?" Go out there and preach, man. Go out there and get, go out there and seal up those elects, man. And that's what we're doing right now, okay? Okay, we're gonna go to the book of First Timothy. Here's another good light right here, man. Yeah, right here. This is good light. Uh huh. The book of First Timothy, chapter four, verse ten. It says, "For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach." Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, because this is the sign of Jonas. Okay, I had to say, man, this is the sign of Jonas. Let's go back. First Timothy chapter four, verse ten. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach, because we trust in the living Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. Okay, and this, and, and again, when he said talking about all men, he's talking about the children of Israel. Okay, all men that's standing right there. It says these things command and teach. These things command and teach man. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine man. It says, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying of the hands of the presbytery. Right, because hey, he said, neglect not the gift that is given that it that is in thee. The gift of what? The gift of uh, understanding these scriptures, man. The gift of the hundred percent truth, man. Neglect not that. You better get out there and preach this word, man. That's what he's saying. It says, Med meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Okay, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself. And them that hear thee, man. And that's why we do this. That's why the Lord commanded us to go out there and get those and get those sheep. Feed those sheep, man. Seal the elect, man. Because by hearing the word, by hearing this word, man, seeing the prophets on the highways and hedges, when you you and the Lord has given you that spirit, you've got an ear to hear and eyes to see. It's gonna stir something up in you, man. It's gonna stir up your remembrance, man. And you gonna get that fever. The Lord is the Lord done called you, you're going to get it, man. But it had to be activated. Okay? And that's the way the Lord have it set up because it's a beautiful thing. 
It's a beautiful thing. So we are on. Uh, we're about to go back now. Uh, hopefully, there's gonna be enough light up there. We gotta go to the book of Ezekiel. This one, this is a good light right here. See, it is right here. Hmm. It's back, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There it is. And we're looking for uh, chapter three. 3 and 17. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Okay. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman upon the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's what we're doing, man. That's what we do. We we'll come out here in the highways and hedges. We're giving the children of Israel, first we're letting them know who they are, because this is the sign of Jonas. We're letting them know who they are, okay? We're letting them know who we are and uh, what has happened to us, why we're in this predicament we are, why we're at the bottom, why we went in the transatlantic slave trade. We let them know that, hey, man, y'all up in these churches worshiping a false god and a false idol, man, and you need to stop before you get destroyed, okay? It says... When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. Good night. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquities, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Okay? The same will I require at thine hand. And that's what the Lord is talking about, man. And that's why, that's why we come out here and preach these words on the highways and hedges because we're afraid of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Because he just said, man, if you don't, if you don't warn these people that they're doing wicked, wickedly, he's gonna get you for it. You know what I'm saying? So this is the sign of Jonas. Okay, let's keep reading. It says, yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquities. But thou hast delivered thy soul. So when we coming out here, we're warning the children of Israel. Hey, hey, y'all, you are the children of Israel. You know what I'm saying? Those people are your enemies, man. Hey, you, you're living in the last days, man. Hey, watch out for the mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? Turn away from your iniquities. Worship the Lord. Find out who the Lord is. You know, the Lord is this. He's not that. You know what I'm saying? This is warning the people. Okay? Whether they hear or whether they forbear, man. It says, let's read it one more time just to be sure. Yet, if, them, if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquities. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and lay a stumbling and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die, because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sins, and his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at thine hand, man. Okay, just like that lady over there. There was a lady over there, man. That was uh over here selling some uh, statues of. The false god and false idol, so-called name Jesus Christ. And I told that lady, hey, man, you you know, you, you're out there trying to push false idols on people, man. Right here at this church, at this Catholic church. And the lady, she disappeared for a, a while. First, she took it down. She did take it down. And then she stopped, she stopped selling stuff for a while. Maybe she went away. But, you know, I saw that lady right there today with them same stupid Jesus statues. So, hey, the blood is off my hands. Hey, y'all, I got to do, a, I'm going to have to do a video on that. Right there, also see that's Catholic Church right there, and can you believe that these fools got a picture of supposedly the Messiah 
But they, they, they think they're smart. They, they gave him a brown body, right? But they painted him with white face, man. That shit is fucked up. That's some fucked up shit, man. These people are gone. You know what I'm saying? These people are totally wrong and gone, man. But he, he, they still didn't give him no woolly hair. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to the book of First Corinthians. There it is. Chapter 13. I think we're going to do one right here. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. It says, Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. That's right, man. If you don't have charity which is coming out here on the highways and hedges, warning uh, the fellow Israelites what's going on and letting them know, hey, man, y'all in the midst of sin. You, you ain't nothing, man. Just like what? That brother Polite and those other fools are going off doctrine all over the place, man. It says, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have faith so that I could remove, remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. So that means... Don't, don't hide your candle under under the bed, man. That's what it's talking about. If you don't come out here and, and share what you don't, what you know, the knowledge that you got, you 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 have nothing. You are nothing, man. It says, and though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, I, it profited me nothing. Okay? It says, charity suffered long and is kind. Charity in, invent not charity uh, vault, vaulted not itself it's not puffed up now it's talking about charity not giving somebody stuff it's talking about spreading this word the 100% truth man without lies without deceit without guile man it says doth not behave itself unseemly seeketh not her own it is not easily provoked thinking no evil rejoiceth not in iniquity but rejoiceth in truth man that's right rejoice in truth that's why that's why when, when brothers be on fire on uh, on the live stream or something, man, we be like, yeah, man, that brother going, man. That brother going in, man. When And we're coming out with the 100% truth. Like you, you're going on precept on precept. Everybody love that, man. It's just beautiful. Okay? It says, Beareth all things, believeth all things, ho hopeth all things, endureth all things. That is my favorite. It says, Charity never faileth, but never there be prophecies. God bless never you, man. Be I've been missing you. That shall fail. I've been missing the crap out of you. Whether there be tongues, that shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Watch out for that truck, man. That's okay. It says, for, for we know in God part and we prophesy in part. But when, when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away, man. Okay, it says, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. That's right, because we didn't know nothing, man. We was in darkness. We was in total darkness. Can I walk up here? They got light up here. We was in total darkness, man. We was a child. Even when we was in, like, first, like, first coming into the truth, we didn't know much of nothing either, still. Let's, let's read it. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things, man. That's right. Gird up your loins, man, in your mind. For now we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abided faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity, man. And this is the sign of Jonas. <laughs> We're going to go to the book of John.
The book of John chapter 5 verse 17. Okay. Hold on, hold on, brothers. Okay, we're going to do the whole thing, man. So this is uh, the book of John, chapter 15, verse 17. It says, My father worketh hitro, and I work. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the sa Sabbath, but said also that Yahweh Shem Shai was his father, making himself equal with Yahweh Shem Shai. Then answered Yahweh Shai and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doth the Son likewise. Okay? For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth, and he will, sh and he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Father rises up the dead, and quicken of them, even so the son quicker than whom he will. So we were dead, and the Lord rose us up, man, and quickened in us with the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. It says, For the Father judges no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son. Okay? That all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honors not the Son, honors not the Father, which has sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life, and shall not come into in condemnation, but passes from death to life, man. So it's all about being baptized with the word, hearing the word, believing the word, you see? and But being baptized in the word, just like we were saying about earlier. And that is why this is the sign of Jonas, because it's very important, man, that you not only hear and believe, but you continue in that word, man. Okay? It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The hour is come, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and, and that, and they that hear shall live, man. And that's what we're talking about when the Lord say, My sheep hear my voice. For as Yahweh Shem al Shai have life in himself, so hath he giveth to the Son to have life in himself and have given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the son of man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the, in, in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, man. That's right, because the children of Israel were laid, scattered out in the streets, man. The valley, valley of, the valley of the shadow of death, man. They were out there dead bones, man. Peace. Peace, y'all. They say peace, peace when there is no peace. <laughs> And shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation, man. It says, I can of mine own self do nothing, as I hear I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, which has sent me. That is the sign of Jonas. We're not doing this out of our own will, man. We're doing this out of the will of Yahweh Shem Yahushai that sent us, man. That is the sign of Jonas, okay? If I bear witness to myself, my witness is not true. There is another that bear witness of me, 
and I know that the witness which he witnesses is me, is of me, is true. Yea, sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. That's right. The John was in the wilderness saying, hey, y'all make way for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is on his way, man. But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say that ye might be saved. So like it, brothers. Okay, so we're going to start back at uh, verse 34. So this is John chapter 5, verse 34. But I received not testimony from man, but these things I say, that ye might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light, and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father have given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. And the Father himself, which has sent me, had borne witness of me. Yea, have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he has sent him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. That's right, because you got eternal life through your how about Shimei Shai, man. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. That's right, people, uh, and uh, and the elder brought that out today, man. The uh, He brought out, he gave the definition to some words, and uh, it just made me think, man, because those words hit home. What were the, I can't remember what the words were, but they were about rejection. Uh... And it just went into a, it just, it just filled my mind. It gave me a better understanding of what the children of Israel, how they actually rejected the Lord and how they're still rejecting him by, uh, like the night they gave, the definition gave words like denying. Uh, and there's like, they're willfully uh, saying no, like not consenting uh, and not believe. It goes into a like not believing and everything. I'm gonna have to watch that epistle again because that, that was excellent, man. That was excellent. Now th it was last night. It was last night. I remember. And it it would just it just touched me when I heard those words because it it brings at home what the people how the people feel and that's why the Lord is looking for that remnant man because the rest of the children of Israel gives a damn about truth. And, you know what I'm saying? They so they so far up in up up got their head so far up up Esau's ass man. They just love it man. They love it here man. It says, and ye will not come to me that ye might have life, right? It says, I receive not honor from men, but I know you that ye have not the love of Yahweh Hashem Hashem in you, man. It says, I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive, right? How can ye believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that cometh from God only. It says, Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom ye trusted. For ye, I'm sorry, Salaki, for had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? That's right, because they're just unbelievers, man. That's all it is, man. Because you. You got the uh, you got the the ones that believe in the, in the Old Testament. Then you got the ones that it's, they're just all over the place. Any kind of excuse, any kind of excuse. But hey, that's why blessed are your eyes to see, man. And thank you, Yahweh Shimei Hashem, for choosing us to actually believe. That's how, that's how, I'm just thankful for that, man, because this is us. This is the sign of Jonas. Okay, this is the sign of Jonas. Okay, y'all. So we got one more scripture. We got one more scripture and we're gonna we're gonna call it we're gonna call it so and once again it's lucky that I, I was hoping to do this while the sun was still up but hey that's just the way it is sometimes man just the way it is sometimes so we're gonna go ahead and get this last scripture 
can't wait till somebody else can answer that time. Huh? Oh. You want to hear the one that George Strait almost said? Yeah. Well, I better hurry up because hopefully YouTube won't uh, try to try to flag this thing or something because those dudes up there singing some songs up there. I better talk over it, right? <laughs> so this is going to be Luke chapter 22. I lived there at one point. 22, 25. Uh huh. So this is the book of Luke, chapter twenty-two, verse twenty-five. So, uh, anywho, so here's here's the song. I'm gonna have to stand over here somewhere. Hold on, let me go. Let me walk up here, man. Let me get some more light up here. There we go. Okay, that's better. The book of Luke, chapter twenty-two, verse twenty-five. And he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors but ye shall not be so but he that is greater greatest among you let him be as a younger and he that is chief as he that do that does serve for whether whether is greater he he that sitteth at meat or he that serveth is not he that sitteth at meat but I am among you as he that serveth, okay? Because it's always better, you know what I'm saying? It says, Ye are they which have con continued with me in my temptations, and I appoint unto you a kingdom as my Father hath appointed to me. That's right, because we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. It says, That ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Because it's, that's why it's good to serve, man. Because... Uh, to serve now, that way you'll be able to sit down later. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, he didn't lead it in captivity, we shall go into captivity. So we're going to be able to sit down because we've, we've paid our dues, man. We've, we've done the work. You know what I'm talking about? And we're doing the work right now. It says, and the Lord says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. And this is, the, this is the point of it. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And that is the sign of Jonas, man. And that's what we're doing. We're coming out here on the highways and hedges, and we're strengthening our brethren, man. Okay? We're strengthening our brethren. We're telling them, hey, it's time to repent, children of Israel, because the Lord is on his way back. He's already started the plagues upon the earth. Uh, he's giving you the signs in the heavens. Just like the one, hey y'all. Just like the one uh, on. Look, I want to. I want to get this also before I close out. Just like the uh, that ring of fire on the eclipse of uh, on Christmas. Check this out. Now we all know this scripture quite well. This is Jeremiah. This is another sign, man. This is Jeremiah, chapter ten, verse two. Thus said the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Right? So he said, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. But then he goes on to say, for the customs of the people are vain. Hey, Hello. Brenda. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Have he, a good night? Yeah, I'm about to go home now. Preaching it. That's right. Where are you at in the Bible? Uh, okay, so look, I'm. I'm this is a prophecy I'm... I'm showing because, um, so look, this is the Lord talking to the children of Israel. He said, hear the word. This is a Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Jeremiah Thus, chapter uh -huh. 10, verse 2. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay? Now the heathen are all the other nations that are not Israelites. Okay. Now on this one, he says, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So he's saying, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, because the Lord put signs forth in heaven to let us know what prophecies are being fulfilled in the Bible at what particular time. Okay. And last Christmas, we had the ring of fire. Remember? Okay. On the, in the eclipse, right? Yeah. So he's saying, don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. And this is the point I'm making it to y'all also. It says, for the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of men's hands, and work of workmen with an axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers that it moveth not. Now he's talking about the Christmas tree. He's saying, don't follow these, these pagan holidays. But he said before that, 
uh, be this not this made at the size of heaven. So the point I'm making is that that is a a milestone in prophecy because at that particular time when Christmas rolled around 2020 or well, 2019, eclipse. it was the eclipse, which don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven, man. And I looked on, on, on and tried to find another eclipse that would go coincide with the Christmas, but I could not find one, brothers and sisters, okay? I just wanted to put that out there. But this is the side of Jonas, man, that we're out on the highways and hedges, uh, just like prophecy. Uh, now, if, if any elders or big brothers, uh, you know, think I'm going off a little bit with that uh, Jeremiah chapter 2 and I'm uh, putting that with the eclipse. Please feel free to let me know uh, on the comment board and, uh, you know, rebuke me if, you know, but uh, it's just through the spirit, man, that I, I had that on my mind for a while and I, I, I just wanted to bring it out. All right, with that, I hope this was edifying. I hope uh, it was also exhorting to the brother, to the brotherhood. And tomorrow's camp day. Today we just we just worked into the Sabbath as well. So I want to turn to the east and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. We're going to give double honors to the elders and the apostles. Great millstone. We're bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144, hopefully elect of Israel, who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever he goes. Shalom, Israel.